Welcome. What is telemedicine and telehealth how it works? Telehealth is the distribution of health-related services and information via electronic information and telecommunication technologies. It allows long-distance patient and clinician contact, care, advice, reminders, education, intervention, monitoring, and remote admissions. Telemedicine is sometimes used as a synonym or is used in a more limited sense to describe remote clinical services, such as diagnosis and monitoring. When rural settings, lack of transport, a lack of mobility, decreased funding, or a lack of staff restrict access to care, telehealth may bridge the gap. As well as provider distance learning, meetings, supervision, and presentations between practitioners, online information and health data management, and healthcare system integration. Telehealth could include two clinicians discussing a case over video conference, a robotic surgery occurring through remote access, physical therapy done via digital monitoring instruments. Live feed and application combinations, tests being forwarded between facilities for interpretation by a higher specialist, home monitoring through continuous sending of patient health data, client to practitioner online conference, or even video phone. Interpretation during the consult. Telehealth versus telemedicine. Telehealth is sometimes discussed interchangeably with telemedicine. The Health Resources and Services Administration distinguishes telehealth from telemedicine in its scope, defining telemedicine only as describing remote clinical services, such as diagnosis and monitoring, while telehealth includes preventative promotive, and curative care delivery. This includes the above-mentioned non-clinical applications like administration and provider education. The United States Department of Health and Human Services states that the term telehealth includes non-clinical services, such as provider training, administrative meetings, and continuing medical education, and that the term telemedicine means remote clinical services. The World Health Organization uses telemedicine to describe all aspects of health care including preventive care. The American Telemedicine Association uses the terms telemedicine and telehealth interchangeably, although it acknowledges that telehealth is sometimes used more broadly for remote health not involving active clinical treatments. E-health is another related term, used particularly in the UK and Europe, as an umbrella term that includes telehealth electronic medical records, and other components of health information technology. Methods and modalities Telehealth requires a strong, reliable broadband connection. As broadband infrastructure has improved, telehealth usage has become more widely feasible. Healthcare providers often begin telehealth with a needs assessment which assesses hardships which can be improved by telehealth such as travel time, costs, or time off work. Collaborators, such as technology companies can ease the transition. Delivery can come within four distinct domains, live video, story and forward, remote patient monitoring, and mobile health. Store and forward. Store and forward telemedicine involves acquiring medical data and then transmitting this data to a doctor or medical specialist at a convenient time for assessment offline. It does not require the presence of both parties at the same time. Dermatology, radiology, and pathology are common specialties that are conducive to asynchronous telemedicine. A properly structured medical record preferably in electronic form should be a component of this transfer. The story and forward process requires the clinician to rely on a history report and audio slash video information in lieu of a physical examination. Remote monitoring. Remote monitoring, also known as self-monitoring or testing, enables medical professionals to monitor a patient remotely using various technological devices. This method is primarily used for managing chronic diseases or specific conditions, such as heart disease, diabetes, mellitus, or asthma. 
These services can provide comparable health outcomes to traditional in-person patient encounters, supply greater satisfaction to patients, and may be cost-effective. Examples include home-based nocturnal dialysis and improved joint management, real-time interactive, Electronic consultations are possible through interactive telemedicine services, which provide real-time interactions between patient and provider. Video conferencing has been used in a wide range of clinical disciplines and settings for various purposes including management, diagnosis, counseling, and monitoring of patients. Video telephony Video telephony comprises the technologies for the reception and transmission of audio-video signals by users at different locations. For communication between people in real time. At the dawn of the technology, video telephony also included image phones, which would exchange still images between units every few seconds over conventional POTS type telephone lines. Essentially the same as slow scan TV systems. Currently video telephony is particularly useful to the deaf and speech impaired who can use them with sign language and also with a video relay service. And well as to those with mobility issues or those who are located in distant places and are in need of telemedical or teleneducational services. Telenutrition Telenutrition refers to the use of video conferencing slash telephony to provide online consultation by a nutritionist or dietitian. Patient or clients upload their vital statistics, diet logs, food pictures, etc. On Telenutrition Portal, which are then used by nutritionist or dietitian to analyze their current health condition. Nutritionist or dietitian can then set goals for their respective clients/slash patients and monitor their progress regularly by follow-up consultations. Telenutrition portals can help clients slash patients seek remote consultation for themselves and slash or their family from the best nutritionist or dietitian available across the globe. This can be extremely helpful for elderly slash bedridden patients who can consult their dietitian from comfort of their homes. Telenursing Telenursing refers to the use of telecommunications and information technology in order to provide nursing services in healthcare whenever a large physical distance exists between patient and nurse or between any number of nurses. As a field it is part of telehealth and has many points of contacts with other medical and non-medical applications such as telediagnosis, teleconsultation, telemonitoring, etc. Telenursing is achieving significant growth rates in many countries due to several factors, the preoccupation in reducing the costs of health care, an increase in the number of aging and chronically ill population, and the increase in coverage of health care to distant, rural, small, or sparsely populated regions. Among its benefits, telenursing may help solve increasing shortages of nurses, to reduce distances and save travel time, and to keep patients out of hospital. A greater degree of job satisfaction has been registered among telenurses. Telepharmacy Telepharmacy is the delivery of pharmaceutical care via telecommunications to patients in locations where they may not have direct contact with a pharmacist. It is an instance of the wider phenomenon of telemedicine as implemented in the field of pharmacy. Telepharmacy services include drug therapy monitoring, patient counseling, prior authorization, and refill authorization for prescription drugs, and monitoring of formulary compliance with the aid of teleconferencing or video conferencing, Remote dispensing of medications by automated packaging and labeling systems can also be thought of as an instance of telepharmacy. Telepharmacy services can be delivered at retail pharmacy sites or through hospitals, nursing homes, or other medical care facilities. The term can also refer to the use of video conferencing and pharmacy for other purposes, such as providing education, training, and management services to pharmacists and pharmacy staff remotely. Thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.